Welcome back to another video. This one is the science of DNA or genes. So basically the first thing is what are genes? Basically they're the blueprints for your body made of four chemicals, adenine, cytosine, guanine, and thymine. There's also a phosphate backbone, but that really isn't part of this. The way it works is they bind together like this. Adenine connects to thymine, and cytosine connects to guanine, and they create codes that tell your body basically how to grow from basically every part of your body. And here's a cool fun fact. If your DNA was uncoiled, it would be 67 billion miles. But you might be wondering, how d can like that much DNA stay inside of your body? The way it does is because basically it's in a thing called a double helix, which can make it get compressed a lot, and it's very tightly wound in a special pattern that allows a lot of it to be stored in small places. And what they're stored in are called chromosomes. There's X and Y chromosomes. They basically determine if you're born as a boy or a girl. If you're born as a boy, then you will have one X chromosome and one Y chromosome. Well, you'll have both of them, but basically those are the chromosomes you'll have. If you're born as a girl, you'll have two X chromosomes. And that's basically a lot of the way that, um, basically the way that works is there's a sperm and an egg. The sperm has an X or a Y chromosome. It has one of those. And the, and the egg always has an X one. So if a Y if a Y sperm gets into the egg, then it's uh, then it's X Y, meaning they're going to be born as a boy. And if it's the other way around, and it's just X X, it means they're going to be born as a girl. So yeah, that's most of the video. But thanks for watching. There's still probably some stuff I'm going to talk about in later videos with RNA and RNA editing in different animals. But yes. Thanks for watching, goodbye, and see you soon.